Launch Control XL3 has pre-configured controls for supported doors. While there is some variation between doors, particularly in FL Studio, many of the controls and assignments have a lot in common. This video will look at the functionality shared across the door scripts currently available for Launch Control XL3. The navigation and transport buttons behave very similarly in all doors although there are variations between doors as to the exact button behavior and what the screen displays. The page buttons navigate through encoder banks for sends or plug-in controls where available. When navigating in this way, the screen briefly displays the name of the selected bank. The track buttons move the door track selection left and right or up and down. Holding shift enables navigation between banks of eight tracks. Record mimics the door's record button behavior. Play mimics the door's play button behavior. There are two door encoder modes, door mixer and door control. They are selected by pressing mode, then either solo arm, which is labeled door control, or mute select, which is labeled door mixer. In door mixer mode, the top two rows of encoders control send levels for the currently selected bank of eight tracks. When turning an encoder, the screen displays the track name, the name of the send and the level value with a DB reading. If there are more than two sends, the page buttons bank through the available sends. Pan positions for the current bank of tracks are controlled by the bottom row. As with sends, the screen displays the track name when an encoder is turned, as well as pan and the pan position, C for center, or a number along with L or R for left or right. In door control mode, the top two rows of encoders control the current plugin in focus or the EQ for the selected track. The screen displays the plugin parameter being controlled, as well as its value. As with sends, the page buttons navigate through additional banks of plugin controls if available. Note that each door has its own way of assigning plugin controls to the encoders, for example, smart controls in Logic or quick controls in Cubase. The bottom row of encoders provides additional transport controls. The function of each transport encoder appears on the screen when moved, along with its current value or configuration. These are similar in function for all doors, although arrangement of the encoders varies slightly and some aren't available in every door. Playback position moves the playhead. Zoom controls the zoom, horizontally or vertically, Loop Start sets the start point for looping or cycling. Loop End sets the end point for looping or cycling. Loop Active activates or deactivates the loop or cycle. Marker Select navigates between markers. And finally Tempo adjusts the tempo in the door. In both door modes, the faders on Launch Control XL3 control the track volumes for the current bank of tracks. When moving a fader in either door mode, the name of the track is displayed on the screen, along with the level in dB. Each row of fader buttons has two modes that can be switched between with the solo arm or mute select buttons. The top row can control either soloing or record arming tracks in the current bank, and the bottom row either muting or selecting tracks. Solo arm and mute behave similarly, 
The relevant fader buttons generally change brightness to indicate the solo, arm or mute state. The colours vary depending on the door. When using select mode, the fader buttons are lit in their respective track colours, with the currently selected track lit the brightest, or lit bright white. 